Hi everyone, Mrs. A here. Today we are going to talk about relations and what makes them a function. So I have today for us four examples and they are all equations. When we are given an equation and not a graph, we have to always be relating that equation to the graph so that we can try to visualize it or at least recognize what the equation is representing. So let's first review what it means to be a function. A function means that every x input, x value, has only one y value. So every input has only one output. So we don't want um, on a graph to see uh, two points like vertically on top of each other like this, like in a vertical line, because that would make it not a function. And in, with saying that, sometimes we say that the test for a function is the vertical line test, which means if you imagine uh, an invisible vertical line on your graph, is there ever a time that that vertical line goes through your graph or relation more than once? And if it does, then it fails the vertical line test and it is not a function. So let's look at the four equations that we have here. The first one we have, y equals two minus x. This is the equation of a line. It is really important for us to get to the point where we can see an equation and recognize what it represents. And that will make all of our function work um, a little bit uh, easier for us. So when I look at this, I know it's a line because I have an x uh, variable here that has an exponent of one. You can also think of this as a line with a y-intercept of two and a slope of negative one. Uh, regardless of how you want to look at this, a line, as long as it's not a vertical line, um, is always a function because a line is always going to pass the vertical line test. So for this line, it's going to sort of go like this on the graph because of that negative slope. And so wherever I look at that line, it's going to pass the vertical line test. And so we can say that because this is a linear relation, this is a line on the graph, then we know that it is a function. And that's it. So let's look at the next equation that we have here. This equation uh, we should recognize from maybe grade 10 work. This is the equation of a circle, a circle with a radius of five. So if you think about a circle on your graph, a circle is not going to pass the vertical line test. Wherever a circle is on the graph, and I'm just gonna, I'm doing like a rough sketch here, so um, keep that in mind, but anywhere that you look at that circle, um, that vertical line, if we kind of do this, you know, imagining vertical lines going through here, there are many places where a vertical line hits that circle twice. And so that means it fails the vertical line test. It's a circle. We can also say it fails the vertical line test and therefore it is not a function. So there isn't really like a calculation that we do here. It's more of just um, reasoning and really thinking about what we're given in that equation. Okay, let's look at the next one. So next we have um, this equation. So take a close look at it. Try to see if you recognize what that is. I see uh, an exponent of two here and an, the x inside. And so I can see that this is the equation of a parabola. And um, we can go further and say that this is a parabola that is open down because of that negative a value. Its vertex is at negative three, one. Um, really, none of that matters because anytime you have a parabola, and this is an open down one, so let's do again like a really rough, rough sketch of a parabola. And then we look at that vertical line test like this. As we go through anywhere that we look, this relation is only going to touch a vertical line one time. And so this passes the vertical line test. Every parabola will pass the vertical line test and therefore it is a function. Okay, let's do the last one. So the last one we have here, this uh, y equals the positive root of x plus two. This is the positive square root function. If you think about transformations, moved left two units. And so since it doesn't have plus and minus here, this is just 
the positive arm of that square root function. If you could try to visualize that, that one. And so again, this is going to pass your vertical line test. Okay, again, we're not thinking about that negative arm down here on the root relationship. We're only thinking about the positive arm here. So it passes the vertical line test and we can say that it is a function. Thanks for watching Mrs. A Loves Math.